The holiday season is upon us and we're starting off the festivities with a quintet of new product announcements that are coming this winter and early next spring. So grab yourself a cup of eggnog and settle in for this month's new product express. Milwaukee Road fans have been waiting a long time for the return of our HO scale Milwaukee ribside caboose from Walters Proto. Built in the 1930s through 40s, Milwaukee's prototype bay window caboose borrowed ideas from their freight and passenger car fleets of the time, using welded steel rib sides to provide extra strength in building the car atop passenger trucks originally designed for their 56 foot combines. Over the course of 15 years, Milwaukee Road built 315 such cabooses, modernizing and updating them along the way. And they were long lived with many units serving the road up to and past the 1985 Sioux Line merger. The car is being offered in two different versions, the original equipped with the coal stove and the modified version which was outfitted with the oil stove facilities. The car is well detailed with wire grabs, separately applied ladders and exhaust stacks, and a detailed underbody. It's available in five different paint schemes and configurations that include Milwaukee Road orange and maroon with a coal stove, orange with the black roof yellow ends and an oil stove, orange with the black roof orange ends and an oil stove, a Milwaukee Road Buildings and Bridges crew car equipped with the oil stove, and finally, a later owner, St. Mary's River Railroad equipped with the oil stove. For those of you unfamiliar, the St. Mary's River Railroad was a short line that began operating a stretch of the Milwaukee Road's former Pacific Northwest Main Line in the 1980s. It also inherited some of the former road's equipment. Moving up the train from the cabooses, our next subject often dominated the head end of hotshot fast freights. In the early 1960s, automakers approached freight car builders with a request to create the perfect boxcar for hauling heavy parts. Pullman Standard 60-foot single-door auto parts boxcar was their answer. Now modeled in HO scale from Walther's Main Line, these specialized cars were built on a purpose-driven design. Their smooth sides hide their interior posts where load restraints could be mounted. The large single doors provided easy access to load heavier cargo by forklift. Such loads included engine blocks, transmissions, brake drums, etc., and were carried via special baskets designed for the job. These 60-foot boxes were seen in priority train service moving to and from America's auto assembly plants, and they'll be ready to enter service on your layout this winter. They're available to pre-order now in the following paint schemes. Santa Fe Super Shock Control Livery, Baltimore and Ohio with the Capitol Dome logo, Burlington Northern, CSX Transportation, Detroit, Toledo and Ironton, green and yellow scheme, Norfolk Southern with Southern lettering, and Southern Railway with the Southern Serves the South slogan. Our next freight car can fit right into mixed concepts set in the same era. In service from the 1950s to the early 2000s, General Steel Castings built 53-foot bulkhead flat cars were among the most versatile cars ever to enter service. Used to ship pipe, form steel, utility poles, lumber, building materials, or even the steel rails that they rode on, they fit into mixed consist freight trains across five decades. Our Walther's mainline HO scale model is built with a die cast metal body that provides excellent tracking and operation. The model was completely retooled just two years ago, and the deck, bulkhead, ends, and frames sport a great look. This second run of the new tool is available in Burlington Northern Santa Fe, Denver and Rio Grande Western, Great Northern, Illinois Central Gulf, Penn Central, and Southern Railway. And if you're looking to customize your own paint scheme, the undecorated version, item 910-5900, is available as well. If you're modeling end scale and adding a stop to your layout this winter, our next two kits might be just what you need. Modeling an authentic station scene in end scale, these new kit versions of the Golden Valley Depot and Freight House open up numerous possibilities for custom builds. Use the structures on their own or combine the depot and the freight house to create a signature small town railroad scene. Each has a small footprint, making them easy to place on just about any layout. With its wooden siding and simulated brick herringbone platform pattern, the depot is a charming addition to any small town scene. The freight house includes a detailed loading dock and a ramp that are typical of those found in small to mid-sized towns from the steam era to today. Both kits are modeled with separate interior and exterior walls. All of the windows and doors are molded in place on the interior wall and would be easier to paint if desired. Just sandwich them together for faster and easier assembly. 
Before you nestle into your easy chair to watch your favorite holiday movie, we've got one more structure kit to add to your workbench. An important and sometimes unsung hero of American industry, furniture manufacturing has contributed substantial business to the railroads for many decades. Adding such a stop just became easier with the introduction of the modern furniture factory kit in HO scale. The construction is typical of steel buildings created for a variety of functions from the 1970s to today, featuring a two-story main building and front office, along with truck and rail-served unloading areas along the back walls. Included details tell the tale of an industrious craftsman's workshop. You'll find a separate lumber storage building with interior racks, a large sawdust collector, and of course, a large industrial electrical transformer and roof vents to keep operations running smoothly. Keep an eye out for the kit at your local hobby shop when it arrives this winter. Thank you for joining me on this month's Walter's New Product Express. Everything that you've seen here is available for pre-order right now at your local hobby shops, or you can bop on over to walters.com to get more detailed information on each. For all of us here at Walters, we wish you the happiest of holidays and hope to see you again in the new year.